Hello guys, welcome to A Drawing Parrot. In today's video, I'm going to show you two very cool things. The first thing is going to be this indicator called Trendilo, which we're going to be using to filter out signals. We're only going to take shorts in areas where it's green, and we're only going to take the long signals where we are in the red zone. Since the indicator is open source, we're only going to need to add couple of extra lines to turn this magnificent indicator that has been featured in multiple videos in YouTube into a signal filter. By the end of the video, you will have the signal filter. And of course, I'm going to show you how I use it in a particular setup using a backtester to trade BTC and XRP. By the end of the video, you will have this modified version of Trendilo, which you can use in your account. And you will also have access to this backtest of course, if you are a member, you will already have access to ADB and all the signals, and you will be able both to further tweak the settings of this backtest or to send it to yourself as a signal from TradingView Alerts so you can run it with a bot. This setup I came up with on XRP is doing 0.37 a day in the past 200 days. The longest a deal is lasting is around 10 days. Total profit of 84% on spot, pretty similar on BTC. 0.35%, less than 10 days in a deal, total of around 80% in 200 days. Guys, if this is the kind of content you enjoy watching, make sure you hit the like, subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell, and there are two best things that you can do for this channel. Watch the video until the very end, and do not go anywhere without writing down a comment. That's definitely one of the top things that is helping this channel to grow. Let's get started with what is Trendilo. As the name suggests, Trendilo is very useful to spot a trend using an oscillator. This indicator calculates the percentage change of a chosen price source, and it applies a smoothing to it. As you can see, the source code is pretty small, but what it does is amazing. There are two versions, one in a shape of an oscillator and another one as a moving average. They are both built by Dude Owns. One is the open source and the other one is the overlay one, but actually they are both open source. If you have this indicator in the chart and let's say you're using a buy sell signal, like for example, I use a lot of this one called Teddy, then how can we achieve that when the signal triggers, like for example, here at the top, this is a cell, how can we make sure that we only take that one when this area is in green? So let's imagine there's another Teddy signal selling here because that occurs in this area. We wouldn't want to take that one. We just want to take the one that occurs concurrently with this green area. And the same stands for the long, when we get a signal to long around here, we want to do it only if we are within the context of this red area. You're going to be happily surprised that that is very easy to achieve just by modifying some lines in Trendilo. For that, we're going to hover on Trendilo and we're going to click in the source code. Do not worry, this part is going to be very quick. I'm pretty much going to copy paste the code that you need to add there. I will leave a link in the description with the final version, so you can just go ahead and copy it. This video is not going to be about coding, don't worry. So in order to modify this code, I'm going to click on create a working copy and I'm going to place my code somewhere around here. We're only going to need four extra lines of code to be able to turn this indicator into an actual filter. Let me explain those lines. The first two additional lines that we added are going to give us those buy zones and sell zones. When C dear is equals to minus one, we're going to be in a buy zone, even though this looks red, that is our area to buy. And when C dear is equals to one, that means that we are in a sell zone that's going to be represented by these green areas around here. And they're gonna be printing one throughout the buy zone and one throughout the sell zone in two separate streams of data that later we can connect to those for backtesting purposes or for creating an aggregated signal that we can send to the bot. Pretty useful. Additionally, these are two additional optional lines that I call end buy and end sell. End buy is when the line crosses above this band. So basically is when the area where we can buy has just ended. And that could by itself be considered as a buy signal. If you are in the future integrating this with any other setup. Pretty useful. And the same goes 
for shorting. The signal end cell is going to trigger when this line crosses below the band. But in, in the back tests, we're only going to use this, which is the whole cell zone. So all the time that this is green, that is going to print one. And all the time that this is red, it's going to also print one. So you're wondering, how are we going to distinguish? Do not worry, because the buy zone and the sell zone, two separate plots with different names. So we will be able, when we're backtesting, to select whether we want to use the buy zone or we want to use the sell zone. Pretty convenient. So that's it. That's pretty much it. You only have now to save your changes and give it a name. For example, my own version, save it. I will suggest as well that you change the name here in the indicator to my own version. And let's add this to the chart. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the data window and I'm going to remove the original version. We no longer need that. And I'm going to remove as well all the other indicators. I just want to focus on the one that we just changed. So let's see if it's working. If we are in the green area, you're going to notice that the cell zone on the right hand side, there's a number one in blue that corresponds to the cell zone. As soon as we finish the cell zone, that should turn into nothing. Notice as well that there is the end cell right in the cross of the price below the band. Now we are going to turn into buy zone. There's another number one appearing in the data window in blue through Gal the buy zone and right at the cross is going to turn into an end buy. This is confirming that the changes have worked and that we are ready to use this together with anything else. The next thing I'm going to show you is how do I aggregate all these filters and signals together. In my particular setup, I'm using a signal called Teddy. And Teddy has two separate signals. It's got the original Teddy signal and a Teddy 2 signal. The first one is an earlier signal. The Teddy 2 is a signal that takes longer to occur, high quality, but sometimes it never comes. My approach for using Trendilo together with the Teddy signal is going to be a combination of different things. For entering a long, I'm just simply going to enter the original signal long whenever we are in the buy zone. So as long as I get the Teddy original signal in a buy zone, I'm just going to enter. I'm also going to use this orchestration signal, which is called bullish oscillator. And I'm going to enter when there is a sell signal. So my bot is only going to be switched on when the bullish oscillator is in a sell signal. So how can I backtest that? Pretty simple. I'm using ADV. I won't be using any DCA on this bot. This is just going to be a base order, no safety order, no max count. And I'm going to use these conditions to enter. Let's scroll down and we can see the three deal start conditions all together. Number one, we say we're going to use the Teddy signal to enter as long as it's in a buy zone. And we're only going to take it when the orchestrator as well is happy. Let's look at an example. Here we have a Teddy buy signal. It's happening right when Trendilo is in red. And at the same time, this green bar is representing that the bot, thanks to the orchestrator, at that point is switched on and is ready to receive signals. So the long setup was pretty easy to get done. You're going to notice that I'm not using any stop loss. The take profit signal is going to take care of whether to take profit or close at a loss. And in order to achieve that, instead of using a percentage take profit, I'm just going to exit with conditions. For the exit, I want to do something very special. I mentioned before that Teddy can send two signals. One is the original and one is Teddy 2. These red ones are the original signals and they are occurring here and here. A little bit later, we have a Teddy 2 signal at a higher price. But here is an interesting problem. We say that we want to take the signal to exit when we are in a sell zone. This Teddy signal is occurring in an area that is not a cell zone. So this Teddy signal will get ignored. The Teddy 2 signal around here is also not in a cell zone. So therefore it's also going to get ignored. But this one here got lucky and it was precisely in a selling area. So that one is going to apply. So how can we make sure that once we are in profit, eventually we exit and we 
take that profit. What we don't want to happen is that we go massively profit and then the price comes back down and we never have an exit signal. We come back to the bot just to see that it took a big loss because we were too specific trying to wait for a signal to exit in profit. My exit logic is going to be like this. If we get a Teddy sell and we are in the sell zone, we're gonna sell. And if we get a Teddy sell two and we are in the sell zone, we are also going to exit. So in terms of logic, this is pretty much like saying, I have two reasons to exit and I wanna exit with whichever comes first. We can agree that this is an or because we are either going to exit thanks to the first group of conditions or the second group of conditions. And you're probably thinking that to achieve that, now we need to code all of this. That's one way of doing this. You will have to basically go yourself and code something that puts all of this into a single indicator. But actually, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna use one of the thousand tools that we have in our community. In this case, we're gonna use this logic operator. This logic operator comes in the shape of just another indicator. Let's go piece by piece. It's going to be super simple and you're gonna notice that just in a few clicks, we can achieve this whole piece of logic, which is a very common need among all algo traders. How can we achieve this area here? Teddy sell and sell zone. That is as simple as having a logic operator indicator in the chart dedicated to that. We're gonna select the AND because we want to do this AND first, the end the zone, and we select the sell zone, that's the first part, and the Teddy signal. Notice that Teddy on sells, it prints a number two. You can always confirm those things in the data window. Trendilo, we configure it to print a one, so it's just a matter of remembering which values you need to put here. Luckily, this indicator is flexible to cover the two scenarios. So we have an AND of these two conditions and you can see it's working pretty well. Here we have a Teddy one signal and we are in the sell zone. Therefore, this is already printing the signal in the chart. Now we have a Teddy two signal around here and we are also in a sell area. The green line is slightly above the band, but you can see that it's green, so it should work as well. We're gonna pick Trendilo sell zone as well with a NAND, and Teddy in this case is Teddy two signal, which also prints a two for the sell. We have a signal for Teddy two plus Trendilo here and a signal for Teddy one plus Trendilo there. So all we need now is to combine those two things in an OR statement. And why is the OR? It's because we say that either of this condition can exit the market, whichever comes first. And to achieve that, we just need a third logic operator. In this case, it's gonna be an OR, and they're going to be point to the two previous logic operators that we already have in the chart, that they print a one whenever they're happy, and we can visually see that this is precisely doing what we need. Whichever comes first is going to trigger and we're gonna use it to exit the market. Now we go back to ADB and instead of here picking all the combinations of things which wouldn't be able to achieve this more slightly complex piece of logic, we're just putting the outcome of the whole thing which is the last signal of logic operator. Notice that it's very easy to get confused to know which one of them is the one that contains everything. And there's a rule of thumb to get that done very easily. If you look here on the chart and if you get your chart very tidy, you're gonna have the top one is here, this is the second one and this is the third one. I group all my logic in an area of the chart that later when I'm in this menu, I know that I need to pick the third one. Of course, even being very tidy, I still go back to the chart and I look overall what is it doing to make sure I'm getting the intended outcome. Like for example, here we have this cell and that cell, we have both cells combined and we're exiting right at the time it should be. We can have a look a little bit of the performance of the signal. You can see that here is entering, it's exiting there. Let's keep going. This Teddy one here didn't get executed, even though we are in the buying zone, that is potentially because we have the orchestrator. So let's expand the orchestrator and you're gonna notice that the signal occurs slightly before 
starting the area where the bot is switched on. Therefore, it got ignored. But here we are with the orchestrator on, we get the TD signal, we are in the buy zone, and it enters a buy, and it exits with the first trigger of TD1. Same here, pretty cool stuff. The max drawdown though, keep in mind, I'm noticing now is around 29%. So this wouldn't be suitable for doing leverage days in deal of up to 10 days in the past 200 days. Of course, past performance can guarantee the future one. XRP is slightly better. In order to have access to all the back testers and to have access to all the logic operators and tools, there's tens of them. You will require a subscription to TTP. In this case, some of these tools are in the VIP area. Some of these tools are in the observer. Have a look at the website. But if you want something that you can work with without requiring a subscription, you can pretty much add a few extra lines. You could create an alert when the buy zone starts, which is when CDR becomes minus one, and in the previous one was just zero. And you can call this alert by starts, and you can do similar for buy zone ends, which will mean that CDR becomes zero, and the previous candle had minus one, which was the buy zone. Then you will have an alert called buy zone ends. So if we save this, of course, this needs to be called by condition, not just alert. And once you save those changes, you can just go to set an alert and you will have those two events, buy some ends and buy some starts, which if you are using once per bar close and then you pick the time frame, that will switch on and off your bots. Once your bots are on and off, you can send directly the actual deal start condition signals to it and they will only take the trades if they are switched on on three commas. So that is a way to get this whole setup without necessarily needing the logic operator or any of the other tools. With the logic operator, the maximum beauty of this thing is that any of the logic operator indicators with all these combinations, in this case, we created all this logic can be straight away sent in the shape of an alert. We say that the third one was combining all or exit conditions. Therefore, that signal will represent all the times that you were using in your backtesting for exiting. And that can be straight away sent to you, one of your bots, making any combination of any number of signals using any numbers, ands and ors, parentheses and things. Pretty cool. Guys, I hope you enjoy this content. It was slightly more on the techie side. I hope it's giving you an idea of all the tools that we have developed throughout these years in the TTP community, mostly based on things that you've been requesting us to build. If you want to give them a try, you can always go for a trial of Observer for free. I'm going to leave a link in the description with a discount of a 35% on the VIP subscription. So if you're keen to try this whole thing and spend some time building your own signals and bots, you're more than welcome. Join our server. Me and my team, we can also help you trying to get it to work, especially with everything to do with the technical setup. All right, guys, do not go anywhere without leaving a comment and hitting the like. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.